doing space missions now. Cool. Hey guys, you're back with Bo and Teddy. Hum diddy hum. Yee yee. Ba ba. Woo. Chimmy Changas. Yup yup. And we're gonna talk today about how to braid your leg hair. Listen, guys. If you haven't tried this yet, you are truly missing out. Okay. And it's gonna start with just really letting that leg hair grow out. You're gonna you're gonna have to shave it a few times so it gets a little thicker, a little bushier, gets a little heavier. And, and, and we're just we're gonna we're gonna give you some techniques. And now we have an actual clip of an actual listener that took our advice. Hey guys, I braided my leg hair, and what are we doing here? Welcome to the cinnamon Hey guys, welcome back to R and R Reviews Unscripted. You're back with me and my brother Joe, a couple of cinephiles that are just gonna talk about. A fantastic movie, probably the best movie of the year. We're going to talk about X-Men The Last Stand 2. Uh, I mean, Dark Phoenix. <laughs> the second attempt at the Dark Phoenix storyline once again failed us. All right, I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. We're about to talk about the fine details of this film. We're going to break it down. We're going to reveal the ending. So please, if you have not seen this, turn this off now. Otherwise, check it out. We're going to dive deep into this plot. And if you haven't been chased off by those annoying noises and you're still here, we appreciate you. All right, guys, as you can hear on our Facebook page or our YouTube page, whichever one you're subscribed to, hopefully, fingers crossed, we gave Dark Both. Phoenix the best movie of the year three out of ten points. Three out of ten points. Uh, the watch meter states, this film makes us glad that the franchise is going to die out for a while. Ouch. And in our opinion, a movie that we give a three is, in fact, unwatchable. That means you can't watch it from start to finish. We set the bar at four. Four is our watchable point, and this falls very short of that. And I don't think that you should waste your time. If you have any love for the X-Men franchise, don't let it be ruined by what is once again a failed attempt at this storyline. But due to our spoiler alert, you probably did watch this. And you've lost as much time in your life that you can't get back as we have. And we're sorry. May <laughs> that time rest in peace. May he rest in peace. So we jump into the storyline. Jean Grey gets all messed up in space trying to save astronauts with the rest of the team. And Quicksilver does some cool stuff. And he's kind of the only character that we're here to see for the most part. And then she comes back to Earth and basically goes crazy and hungry with power, and basically starts killing people. We all knew that was coming. Right. And this movie stars tons of people. James McAvoy, Jennifer Lawrence returns as Mystique, probably the best actor they ever got to play any role other than Michael Fassbender. It's also got the only Quicksilver we care about in it. Discount Jessica Chastain, who you'll watch and go, man, this chick's a lot like Jessica Chastain, because... You'll think she just looks a lot like her, but absolutely could not be her until you realize that, oh wait, that is Jessica Chastain. I knew this movie wasn't going to be great, but I came, I wanted, I wanted to see it for two reasons. Michael Fassbender being Magneto, being awesome, because he is, and he's great. An amazing Magneto, I'm always going to show up to see what he does. And second, for the slow motion Quicksilver scene that we know is obviously going to happen because they've done it in the two previous movies and it's always the best part of the movie. Oh wait, they didn't do that in this movie. Another reason it's terrible, because they took their star X-Men and they broke his leg, or whatever they did to knock him out, and, and now there's it's pointless, I don't want to watch any other X-Men. Oh, Beast is my favorite. What's wrong with you? Beast is lame. Beast is not lame, but his motivations in this movie sure were. He seemed to turn to a bad guy like nobody's business. Yeah, he's just like, I have no morals. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then all Cyclops and is out in the open blasting his rays like when civilians are around. And how come this kid, like, does he only play roles where he gets to wear a visor on his face? And by kid, you mean Ty Sheridan. Yes, uh, or Wade Watts yes. or Scott Summers. He, he has a niche there, though, but he does a good job. He's been playing uh, Cyclops for a minute. Yeah, two movies. Uh, wasn't he Cyclops in uh, No, that was James Marsden, but they do look a lot alike. No, I know that. <laughs> no, but all in all, he does play a decent Cyclops. Cyclops has been my, like, favorite X-Men for a long time. Yeah, I know that's lame, guys, but 
I think he does a decent job. It's just the movies that are so bad. They have these mindless yes. storylines and plots. Why isn't Xavier supposed to be like a wise mentor? And this, he just seems like a guy who makes rash decisions and is stupid. I feel like that they just stop taking chances after a while, and they're just recycling the same thing. Like we've seen every X Men, like you know, new X Men out there. They can't really impress us anymore. You know, uh, Apocalypse was disappointing. Here they are with this again. You know, thank God Disney bought them, and maybe, you know, we'll see them in 10 years. They'll also still have New Mutants. I think that's still Slater. That movie has been, the release date has been changed like three times now. It's supposed to come out like 2017 or 2018. I think it's just going to get canceled completely, honestly. And it actually looks good. So basically, this movie is complete garbage, okay? It's another recycled opportunity to make a little bit of cash, but let's look at this. The most interesting part about this is the movie's budget was $200 million. It made a total of, in the USA, $65 million. Worldwide made $252 million. So they made a $52 million profit still. I mean, that's a lot of money to us. That's not a lot of money to a movie company. I wonder, you know, if they consider that a win for them in the end. I mean, the reluctancy was definitely there for the most part. And I think we're just exhausted on X-Men. Yep. Uh, hopefully we'll get a good long break here. Yes, and if you recall, X-Men was the very first, well, other than Blade, superhero movie that they released in this, you know, back in, what, 01 or so. Right. So. All right, guys. Well, that is all the time we have for this terrible movie today. If you did watch it, um, sorry. If you haven't, don't. If you want to watch an X-Men movie, watch Days of Future Past. Yes, definitely Days of Future Past is the best in the whole saga. Don't forget, guys, to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube page, as always, to see all of our content, check out all of our reviews. Make sure and leave a comment. We'd love to hear the feedback from anybody that wants to talk with us, whether you like what we're saying or you don't. Until next time. It's a beautiful day in the cinema hood. And now it's time for this. Nick's Nonsense. No! <laughs> is this an X-Men movie? It is only called Dark Phoenix, where most of the others usually start with X-Men. Dark Phoenix, question mark. Why didn't they dye Jessica Chastain's eyebrows white? Do you think Jessica Chastain wishes she was Jessica Chastain in this movie because she's so unlike Jessica Chastain? Why are mutants only blue? Where are the yellow mutants? Where are the green mutants? Why are the X-Men makers obsessed with blue people? Where are the creators the blue man group? Patrick Stewart, Charles Xavier would have backed into James McAvoy Charles Xavier for being such a bad Charles Xavier that makes not choices a Charles Xavier would make. Since when did the Greys enter the X-Men universe? Is there an X-Men in Area 51 that was stormed by a bunch of people doing the Naruto run? Do you think Bowser's mom is a turtle and his dad is a dragon? Or do you think his mom is a dragon, possibly from Shrek, and his dad is a dragon? These are all important questions we should be asking ourselves. This has been Nick's Nonsense. With no survivors. I broke the window again.